Hello and welcome to Gina Mood. This is your monthly tarot reading for this new month of October. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Remember, it is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. What that means is that you can feel free to reverse the roles if you feel that they fit better that way. And also, just a quick reminder, for those of you that are booking personal readings, please make sure to check your spam folder because sometimes the emails that I send out, okay, regarding your personal readings, go into your spam folder. And some of you guys are emailing me, telling me that where is that email. And so please check your spam folder or unblock info at genamoon.com so that you can see my emails, okay? All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. And you are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. Okay, so here you have lead. Look at this one. It's the number four and it says lead okay this reminds me a little bit of the emperor okay the lead he's like a leader right and so what this is saying is that you've recently mastered something and see how he's holding that paper in his hands it's sort of like you know he recently kind of mastered something he's ready to show it to the world but he's a leader he's the one who is you know the one who is kind of like putting that first step forward, right? And so this is all telling you to take the lead, take the lead in some kind of way, shape or form. Also, this is all about getting more in tune in touch with your masculine energies, right? Because feminine energies don't really lead in this type of way. They lead in a different way, right? But this type of energy, it's more so masculine type of leadership authoritarian energy. It could also be a person that you are dealing with that is a leader, an authority figure in your life. And as you can see, there is the number four there, okay? Let's see what this is all about. What is this all about here for you? What is this all about here for you during this time? Okay, so here you have the moon reverse. So it could be Pisces energy. I see Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. I see Taurus energy as well. What else do we have here? Um, Virgo or Capricorn. Okay, what else? Uh, I did say Leo at the bottom here, the two of wands. Yeah, so make a decision. There is a decision that you're contemplating, right? You're trying to figure out what's the best course of action. The pluses, the minuses, what should you do? Which way should you go, right? How should you proceed forward? So this is all about making a decision about your future, okay? Now I also see here with the moon reversed. Yeah, I see that right now you're start you're going to start feeling a little bit more clear, okay, about the situation and about life, okay? If you've been feeling recently like you've been going through the fog, it's kind of like imagine yourself driving a car, right? And perhaps it's snowing and there's a lot of fog and if you have your headlights on, you kind of need to slow down, right? Because you want to see ahead and so sometimes when you're going through the fog you can't really make decisions because you know you can't see what's in front of you on the side of you and so what this is saying is that if you were not able to lead before because you felt confused about something soon very soon okay you're going to start receiving clarity all that fog is about to go away and when you receive clarity it's telling you step up to the plate and lead okay take that leadership role take that leadership position when you receive clarity which is coming very soon now in your challenge position you have the knight of wands here so challenging you is going to be an energy of you not being sure what to pursue or when to pursue it for others of you guys it might be a challenge for you to deal with a personality type that is very in and out okay it could be a player it could be a person who makes promises but then they don't deliver now I see that you are stressing out right now. You're letting your fears take over your energy and this is not healthy for you. So you need to learn how to control your thoughts. Learn how to control your emotions. Don't let your emotions control you because I do see that if you let your fears take over you, again, this is all stress that is created by you, by you letting those fears, those thoughts, you know, I'll give you a brief example. Let's say, for example, somebody told you somebody that you really like, right? And you want them to call you and they tell you, okay, I'm going to call you tomorrow by seven o'clock. And so tomorrow shows up and it's seven o'clock and crickets. There's nothing there. You keep looking at your phone. They're not calling. They're not texting. And so 
you know, you start stressing out. Oh my God, what if this person doesn't like you anymore? What if this person, you know, found somebody new? What if this person has other options, right? And so that is negative thinking. That is fear-based mentality. You're letting your fears, right, take over your energy when nothing is really happening. Perhaps maybe that person, uh, they just, you know, are stuck at work. Maybe that person, something came up and they couldn't call you. They forgot, you know, that kind of thing. So don't let your fears take over your mind. Try to control them, okay? Here with the Empress, yeah, so the root of the issue is that there is a lack of growth. The root of the issue is that there is no real growth in the situation. Somebody here is not nurturing the situation, okay, the way that they are supposed to nurture it, okay? Now, in the recent past, I do see that you were very, you know, kind of in your element, okay? I feel like you were very abundant for some of you guys. Maybe you were just focused on your career. You're, you were focused on yourself. You felt good in your singlehood for others, okay? And for a few of you guys, it could also be the fact that maybe you were spending a lot of money or perhaps you were just kind of feeling yourself, you know? It's like that energy of, you know, a renewal type of version of you. Now, coming towards you also in your near future energies and in your opportunity, you have the four of pentacles. So you're going to have an opportunity to stabilize yourself, whether it's financially, whether it's emotionally, okay, but you will have an opportunity to stabilize yourself. And also, this is telling you, there, there's going to be an opportunity for you to take a step back and to be a little bit more reserved, okay? I feel like for some of you guys who have been giving, giving, giving to a situation, it's time for you to take a step back and to be a little bit more reserved, okay? Now, also here with the nine of wands, yeah, in your subconscious thoughts, you're not sure if to take action. Again, if you're going through the fog right now, you feel confused, you're not going to feel confident enough to take that step forward, okay? Eventually, right now, I feel like soon you're going to start seeing that clarity come in, okay? And that's when you will have to take the lead. But I feel like for others of you guys, right now, you're still feeling a little bit afraid. You still feel like, what if this happens? What if that person ends up hurting you, right? So, this is telling you bring down your walls. Bring down your walls little by little because if you keep those walls up to protect yourself, right? or as a defense mechanism, you're gonna not be able to see those opportunities when they come in. Imagine a wall being all around you. Opportunities are coming in, but you're not seeing them. Why? Because the walls are there, right? And so this is telling you bring down your walls just a little bit to not block off opportunities. Now, if somebody sees you and this situation as toxic, okay? Ask yourself, is there a situation that is already toxic, turning toxic? Because the way that this person sees you and or the situation, of course, it could be vice versa reversed, okay? Take it as it resonates. But somebody sees the situation as toxic, as an attachment here as a very negative attachment. It could be a narcissistic behavior, controlling, you know, uh, manipulation, addictions to negative things and or obsession. Okay. So somebody sees the situation in this light, whether you see them this way or they see you this way. Now with the high priestess reverse, yeah, your action advice is to open up your intuition, open up your intuition, let your intuition guide you in the right direction. And also disclose information that perhaps you've kept hidden. Remember, this is all about you taking that leadership position. Okay. Lead the way forward. If you do that, you're going to find that you actually have more influence, more power over the situation than you might realize. Because, you know, if you don't know your power, then you're not able to utilize your power, right? What if, for example, you walk into a room, right? And you have much more influence over that room than you are aware of, right? Then the room might influence you. Just like I gave you an example earlier, your fears, don't let your fears influence you when you have power over them, when you are the one who has power over your fears. So again, this is all about being strong, being confident and knowing that you have power over the situation and turning it into your favor or to, towards your favor. We're going to be going into the extended read to see who this person is, okay? More so about their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you. Excuse the noise. Their next moves and actions towards you, how the situation is all going to turn out and unfold for you, what is going to be the final result, and we will end the reading with any messages from Spirit. If you want to check that out, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. 
And in the extended reading is where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to develop and turn out for you, what will be the final result. And we will end the reading with any messages from spirit. So if you want to check out the link to the extended, you can now find the link to the extended down in the first comment that is pinned down below, as well as in the description box below. And I finally got good news from YouTube regarding the situation that has been happening with my channel. Make sure that if you do like these videos, if you do want to support the channel, comment down below, even if it's just commenting down an emoji, it really helps support me and my channel. And now you can check out all of your readings that I've posted for your sign in the first comment that is um, pinned down below. You will find all of your weekly readings from this week. Last week, you will also find all of your monthly readings for this entire month, your mid-monthly readings, your blessings readings, and more. So make sure to check out the first comment that is pinned down below so that you can check out all of those readings for your sign for this entire month. Thank you all so much for your support. Take very good care of yourselves. And until next time, bye-bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psych source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.